You wanna know how I set up my dual PC stream slash game capture setup? Um, there's many different ways of doing this. Um, and I've pieced together kind of all these different videos on kind of what works for me. So this is not gonna be exactly what works for you, but maybe you'll get something out of this video and this will might help you with your solution because there's all kinds of different components and things that you can buy. Um, so I'm gonna show you what works for me and hopefully you can find something in here that will help you out. All right, let's do this. All right, here's my main setup right here, uh, but I set up the separate table over here, and that's kind of where I build PCs, and this, in the PCs that I build, I uh, do some game capture. I wanna see how they perform uh, with uh, the video games, and uh, like the 3090 right there, and with the 5950X in this beautiful Antec DP502. Um, and so, that's what I do. I like to capture games. I can also stream here too. So this is considered, you know, a kind of a dual PC streaming slash game capture. And so I'm gonna go through on how I set up each one, each computer, uh, the gaming computer and the stream computer, the capture computer, and then what I've plugged into, the settings that I have in, uh, in, on each computer and how I have the cords routed on the camera and the lights and all that stuff and the doggo, my boy. So I have dual PC because I basically don't want a game on the same computer that I'm gonna be streaming on or capturing because I want to be able to uh, capture or game on the computer without affecting anything else. I want the max frames per second and all that stuff. And so basically everything going on here is gonna be captured on this computer right here. Don't mind the cables or anything like that. Um, I always uh, you know, tear this up and down so um, you know, disregard the mass spaghettiness of the cables. Um, so just basically take a look at the whole setup in general. Um, when I'm kind of sitting, uh, I got my light over here, a key light, and then I also got an Elgato key light right here, and then my camera right here. I have one monitor for the game, and then I have another monitor for the stream computer, the capture computer, the keyboard and mouse on that one. Elgato is currently not really configured, I can use that. Um, and then I got a keyboard and mouse that I game on, it's connected to the gaming computer. And then um, I have my headphones, and uh, that is connected to the Go, Go XLR. And uh, there's many different components or different other products that you can use instead of this one. Um, but basically that's gonna be able to kind of, basically be the middleman to uh, be able to hear what's on the gaming computer and also the streaming computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, kind of how I have everything set up. Um, on my gaming computer right here. Um, so like I said, I have my keyboard and mouse plugged in. And so basically I have an internet, ethernet cable, I plugged the internet. I got my keyboard mouse. And then I also have the Go XLR plugged into my gaming computer. And then I also have this display cable. And what that doing, what's that doing? And that's coming over to the stream computer. And that's plugged in on the stream computer. I have an Elgato uh, capture card or 4K capture card. And so basically this is routed to the in port and then on the capture card and then on the out is plugged in to the gaming monitor. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm everything going out or on this graph or the GPU, everything that's going out is running through this capture card so that it can capture or stream it and then coming out to a monitor. So that's pretty much the gaming computer. And then the streaming or capture computer, I have basically keyboard and mouse and then I have internet and then I have the Elgato cam link and this is basically the feed for my camera. So my camera is plugged in right here, kind of an HDMI coming out. So basically that's my video feed coming into the capture computer. So that's showing my video feed. And then um, my camera is also, I have it not running on batteries. I have it plugged in with a power adapter, so it's not gonna die on me in midstream or game capture. Um, the mic, I'm using a lav mic, so I just, I'm using the audio that's gonna run through the camera. Now that will be different. The only reason why I do that is because I basically, when I do my videos, 
Um, this is always kind of connected. It's a great mic. I could set up another mic, you know, like this one, and then uh, plug it into the Go well XR, and then um, that could be my audio source. But since I always have this hooked up to my camera, I'm just running my audio from me speaking and reacting to the game. I have that just capturing the audio through the camera. And so that's the reason why I do it. You could get an external mic and plug it in on the Go, X, Go, Go XLR right here. And then you can just capture that audio. Um, and then you, just, then you configure it into the OBS on the stream computer. Um, and then, so the other thing that I have here is obviously the HDMI on my graphics card here. So I can see like my OBS I'm gonna have configured on this capture card. Um, this HDMI cable plugs into the HDMI on that. And then another thing is um, the audio. So basically, I have this audio set up where I can basically play on my, so if I'm streaming, I can hear the game and I can also hear like if there's any kind of reactions on the stream, like, you know, any kind of uh, cheers or anything like that. I wanna be able to hear my game and what's also on the stream. And so in order to do that on my Go, Go XLR, is um, basically what I do is I have the line out on here going into the line in on the computer and then the line in is the line so the line in on the Go XLR is the line out on here and so basically by routing those through here so to recap line out on the Go XLR goes into the line in on the stream computer. The line in on the Go XLR goes into the line out on the stream computer. And then basically what that will allow me to do is uh, to hear what's going on on stream. Um, and then also to hear what's going on on the game, um, that I have a headphones plug and I have my headphones hardwired in right here. And so that will be able to hear my game. Now let's go ahead and see how I got uh, my OBS configured. All right, so on the stream computer right here, uh, I have OBS installed and that's kind of running everything. And um, basically that's kind of capturing what's going on right here. So here's the camera. All right. Enough of that. So anyways, um, OBS is capturing everything right here. So basically in OBS, you wanna go ahead and configure. Um, right here, you wanna configure, uh, you wanna add you know, my camera as a video source. And also that is gonna also be my audio. So as you can see, it's picking up the sound from my lav, my lavalier mic. And so my, my audio and my video that's coming right here, that's my camera. And so I add that. Um, and then if you didn't have audio on the camera, you would just add, you know, another audio source. And so audio input capture. So you just add your mic that you would plug in. Um, and then the Elgato 4K capture card. And so that basically is capturing my screen right here. So if I was to move this around on screen, that is capturing what's going on on this. So that's basically the only settings I have uh, in OBS. Now, if we go over to the gaming computer, on this one, I have my Go XLR plugged into the game computer and I have the software running. And then I have, you know, any kind of custom configurations you want in here. Um, but what I did is you route it, um, the line out, you wanna go ahead and I selected mic, chat, music, game, and then system. And then, um, let's see here ones. And then also samples and stuff. So you can kind of choose whatever you want. Um, and that will also basically, so that's what I want uh, for my audio sources. So it'd be able to kind of push the audio. It kind of gives, here's my sound. Um, and then, so here's your output device. And uh, so everything that you select down here in Go XLR uh, will show up in a different sound option right here. And then, so basically I just say like the whole system. Um, you're gonna be able to pick up um, my whole system, all the noises from my whole system, and bring it over here. Um, if you only didn't want that, if you still only wanted game, you know, you can select game and all that stuff. 
And then um, the monitor, I'm only rocking one monitor. Um, so basically it's, it's showing up as one monitor and that's the, you know, the uh, 4K Elgato uh, capture card, 4K capture card. And then um, if you had multiple monitors um, and if you only wanted to record on one, then basically you would just kind of mirror the one that you wanted it to pick up. And uh, that's kind of another video uh, that people will kind of show you, you know, if you have multiple monitors, how you want it to display, you know, over here and only record one monitor. You basically just have your gaming computer, um, your monitor that you're gaming on, and then you mirror it to this uh, Elgato capture card. And get yourself some good lights. Um, you know, this is the Elgato uh, key light, which is good. You can adjust the, you know, the brightness of it and the warmth of it and stuff. Um, and then also I just have this kind of this other light box here too that kind of uh, helps with some light. And then uh, that's also good to get some really good light on you. Also make sure you get yourself a good boy because you know this guy, he definitely helps me out. And you know, without him, I wouldn't be able to get half the stuff done, right bud? His name is Nico. He's gonna be 11, aren't you bud? It's a good boy, it's a good boy. Hopefully this video helped some of you guys out by taking some of the stuff that I got working, incorporating your own dual screen setup. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, you know what to do. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.